the next morning after the drone show and we're testing out the unique Typhoon H. Yesterday at the drone show, they launched this new app called Drone Assist where we can now log in and when we're going to fly, we put in here that we are actually about to fly a drone in this location and it alerts other users of drones or any other aircraft that we're actually here and we're flying. So this is Daryl's brand new, unique Typhoon H drone. And look at that, look how stable it is. There's a the landing gear going down. The landing gear is controlled manually by a switch. And on the front, just here, this bar you can see with the two blue dots on it, that is the hazard avoidance system. Real sense. Real sense. How's it handling man? So the camera underneath the drone is a 4K camera and it will spin 360 degrees. So does the unique Typhoon log your flights the same as the DJI Phantom where you've got like a flight record? Yeah. So you know how many hours of flight time you've got and you know how many miles you've flown and your altitudes and all that kind of stuff which is really good. Right, is he going to try us? That was it? So when, when that jerked back then that was the obstacle avoidance? Yeah. That wasn't you? No, but I'm going to put it on smart mode. That's full throttle forward that was just shouted to me and it's not going to that lamp post. So we just, we just try and follow me now, yeah? So if Daryl's walking over there, right, this should follow him now. There you go. There's a lamppost coming up, and it's, is that figuring a way round? So you're not doing that. That's that's brilliant, man. So Daryl's walking past this lamppost. He's got the drone on follow me mode. Look at that. It's figuring its own way round. It knows. <laughs> that's quality. And it's just going. He's still following him. Oh, he's testing. He's going a bit quicker this time. Oh, bloody! Hell, I don't have to keep up. <laughs> it is certainly dodging these lamp posts. He's zigging and zagging in and out, and this thing is just figuring its own way round. That's unbelievable. This is the drone I need for running. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Yeah. That's when the legs are a real valley because the camera's got now free movement around all of these. So what Daryl's saying is as the, as the drone's following him around, like on a DJI where the legs are going to be there on the Phantoms. So it means it can keep the optical avoidance at the front all the time. Yeah. So if you look, now it's heading this way, I'll fly that way. As soon as I turn around, it'll turn the body around, the camera's Yeah, so what Daryl's just saying, in case you couldn't hear, is um, the camera, he's got it on watch mode, so the camera is watching him. But on a DJI Phantom, of course, in, to turn 
the camera, you have to turn the entire drone because the legs are in the way. On this one, obviously the legs are all folded up, so the camera is permanently focused on him, but the drone is able to turn itself and it keeps the hazard avoidance facing the way that it's actually traveling so that it's not gonna hit anything. Because with a DJI, the whole drone would be turning, the hazard avoidance wouldn't be looking, and you could crash it. So I think the, the Mavic, um, when I say the DJI, the Mavic I don't know about, but I know the Phantoms. This drone, this Typhoon from Unique seems to be far superior on the maneuverability. This is probably the best place we could have come to test this, yeah. with, just with all these lampposts everywhere. So this small stick here that comes with it, that's called the wizard and you don't necessarily need this remote with the uh, typhoon there you can just use the wizard with the wizard the range of um from from the wizard to the drone is going to be diminished you can't fly it miles and miles because it needs a, a connection but it's all ideal for sport mode and things like that um so if i was going on a run i could fly the drone from that wizard stick and I think they do like, a, like an armband you can wear the wizard in there stick it on follow me stick it on watch mode and you can go on a run and this thing will just follow you about and as you've just seen the hazard avoidance would, would hopefully dodge everything um, so it doesn't matter where you run you, you should be fine it won't crash and it's just going to follow you about and film you so you're actually on camera not behind the camera all the time the so the rear light the rear light is flashing blue we need we need that light to be purple to put it in pairing mode for the wizard stick. Right, so this double tilt action is to put the drone into pairing mode. Is it easy to fly off the wizard? Yeah, yeah. Is it just literally uh, up, down, left, right? Yeah. But the cool thing is it depends on what way you're holding it. Up stick. Up it goes, straight off the wizard again. That's brilliant. That's left and right, forward and back. And do your legs away, didn't you? It's actually like, when the legs fold up, they're actually really close to the props, aren't they? But yeah. it's precision, obviously, because they're not touching. Right, look, there it is. The remote's down there. We're on the wizard. It's on follow mode. Yeah, he's rounded the first lamppost, no problem. So you can see that camera is just fixed on Daryl and the drone is actually turning over the camera. That's been a really successful test of the unique Typhoon H drone and I'm really impressed with it. It's made me want to get one. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble if I buy one of these. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more technology reviews and things like that on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.